Welcome everybody. This is uh, Gold Leader. I'm with Patronus, and this is our first Wizards of the Coast uh, Harry Potter trading card game stream. Patronus, you want to introduce yourself? Hey everybody. Sorry, we were just having a little bit of a lag there on the recording. Okay. So, um... If you're joining us, you might have uh, seen some of our other streams. Uh, we do stream a lot of games that we just like to play. Mm -hmm. They're mostly Star Wars and Harry Potter games. Yes, because those are our favorite genres. I yeah. am Harry Potter. He is Star Wars. And Brand together, we have taught each other the wonder of each other's genres. <laughs> yeah, I, I pretty much go to Patronus for all of the... Um, Harry Potter deep knowledge, especially when we're playing games like this, where I'm like, oh, what is uh, flu powder, oh, or you is. know what I mean? All yeah. the all the stuff that all the Harry Potter people really know. Or how to say the spells. <laughs> how to sp say all the spells when we're playing uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts or Harry Potter Battles. So, to give you a little background, home-based games, we just stream a bunch of games. We want to start a regular Wizards of the Coast Harry Potter trading card game. It is the first uh, Harry Potter game that I know of. I actually was at Gen Con the first time the set was released. And I remember all of my friends... I was probably in high school. I want to say I was probably in high school. And all of my friends were like super excited. And they were buying packs like crazy. I remember they are cracking them. Ron... Kurt, like mm -hmm. all the guys that we basically we played Magic, yep, and all the guys were buying these cards like they were going out of style. I was just a little bit too old, I think, to really get into the Harry Potter books. So I played with them, but I didn't know anything about the universe, and the game was based off the books, not the movies. So, yeah, I on the other hand was the same age Harry was in book one when the movie, like when the when that book started I was the same age as him yeah, so, so I just grew up with this genre and just love it it is my fave all right so we're gonna get going unfortunately I don't have a really cool to play Harry Potter Matt we'll have to rectify that yeah we will we will definitely get uh, <laughs> we'll get a streaming Harry we'll Potter get Matt. a couple streaming Harry Potter mats for sure <sighs> um, we do have a lot of decks here um, we have seven decks all of these decks are on the Harry Potter TCG Revival Facebook group. They have a link there on Facebook for decks. And I just went and I built as many as I could with the card collection we have. All right. There might be like two or three proxied cards because I didn't have like eight of a card sure. or, or something. So it's fine. But it'll be it'll be it'll be good fine enough. for for playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm hoping they're balanced against each other. We haven't played all of, we've played some of these decks once or twice, but not all of them against each other. But uh, I think it'll be good it for goes. people to to see. Uh this is a great game. Yeah. We're going to kind of explain how to play as you go for people who haven't watched this before. And Yeah, we, this probably did predate a little bit youtube in general similar to some yeah, of the other there, games we've done there doesn't seem to be a lot of content so yeah. i would love to provide a constant source of content for this game especially because the if you don't know what the harry potter revival group is just google um harry potter tcg revival they have uh their own web page they have a facebook group and they're basically a group of like i think their facebook is like 600 people and they are kind of doing the same thing i'm doing with star wars trading card game sure they are just trying to bring the community together, keep people playing. They have all the cards. There's plenty of people to trade with. And I think they're coming out with a fan-made set. They are. So they so the IDC, which is the Star Wars group that does this, um, they've been doing it for a long time. They have had, like a ton of sets. But the Harry Potter is getting their next set coming out. And it's actually coming out, I think, I think it's this month or July. Cool. It's really soon. The next set's called Heir to Slytherin. And nice. yeah, they are they are working out. They just um, released uh, like an update like to their ban restricted list, mm -hmm. 
and I'm excited. I haven't seen any previews yet. I'm sure they're going to start dropping previews soon. Yeah. So this, for me, was like the perfect time to let's start getting people involved in playing the game, yeah, learning the game. for sure. And HP Revival Group, let's uh, let's get a partnership going with Homebase Games so we can start cross-promoting each other's awesome stuff. <laughs> yeah, we, we could we could play with some of their... We could print out their cards. We'll yeah, be able to I'd play with to. them. So it would be fun. So I got a couple decks here. I don't know what you want to play. So I've got a... There's a... Prof- this is the the Severus Stape um, Venomous Tentacular Juice deck. I think we've played that one before. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to try that Owl's deck? I sure. An owl's deck. I'll try an Owl's deck. I've, I've never actually played a Tribal deck before. So this one it. uses uh, Percy Weasley. Okay. And it's a slew of Owls. All right. I don't know necessarily how it works. We'll kind of figure we'll it out as we out, go. We'll find out, I guess. The nice thing is... Just playing a, a bunch of creatures, I suppose. Yeah, except literally they're all owls. They're just owls. So you can headwig me for days. All right. So uh, my wizard, and I'll pull this up on the cam here. Oh, it's, it's uh, that's weird. It's, yeah, it's not foil. And maybe just because there's a lot of orange in it, it just looks weird on the yeah on the white wash on the white washing. At the end of your opponent's turn, if he or she played a non-lesson card that turn, he or she takes one damage. So for every card you're playing that's not a lesson, you're taking damage. Mm, interesting. So you don't want to you don't want a ton of lessons in play then, mm-hmm. right? It's if oh, for your, your opponent. opponent. Oh, your it's opponent. You. Okay, gotcha. So every time you play a non-lesson card, okay, you take damage. So I got a couple options here. There's this other deck, and this, this deck is might sorted. Ch- I assume, right? Yeah, they're so all these to... are sorted. You'll have to shuffle them. So there's this uh, professor. What? Wrong sleeve. Oops. Yeah, one card wrong sleeve. Good catch. <laughs> I will get that corrected real quick. makes me sad that they've never made really cool Harry Potter sleeves. I would buy those like crazy. Okay. So actually, this game, I was introduced to it by Ron at, only a couple years ago, actually. We were at, a, at Gen Con, maybe two or three years ago, and... Ron brought up this game, Gold Leader brought up, brought up this game, and we decided to see if we could try and find some of the boxes at Gen Con being sold by a vendor, and we were able to find a couple, and then I think the next year we were able to actually trade with someone who had almost a complete collection. So uh, since then, we've been very excited about expanding into this and trying lots of different decks and trying to be very thematic with it. I had expressed interest in trying to create some more, call it monocolored decks that were just super thematic. Um, So we'll probably do a lot more with this as we go on, particularly with some of the fan-made stuff that's coming out. So there's this... um... There's this deck I have here called. It has something to do with passwords. We lost it. Well, we lost the stream. Yeah. All right. I, th- I think we're back. Looks like we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, had a, have some latency issues. I'm not sure what's going on, but our home internet here just must be losing its cool. All right. So I'm just going to go with the... I found a basic Quidditch deck. And I actually really like Quidditch, and I can't seem to ever win with a Quidditch deck. So I figured I'm going to give this one I found on Facebook a try. All right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right. 
think I'm, I think I'm pretty good here. So if you haven't played Harry Potter before, uh, Harry Potter works similar to Magic the Gathering in a sense that they were both made by the same company, so they do have some same similar language, um, like tapping and things like that. Other than that, though, um, Harry Potter is kind of a a little bit of a less complicated version of Magic. You don't have all the... Um, you can't do a, an unlimited amount of things if you have resources. In Magic, if you have... You could do as much as you want as you have resources and cards to play. In Harry Potter, you're limited to actions. Each player starts the game with a wizard, um, which is their main character, witch or wizard. And that character is in play the whole time. They give you a special ability. So I'm actually playing Harry Potter the Seeker. Once during each of your turns, when you use an action to play a lesson card, you may draw a card. And every turn, each player gets two actions. And your actions are pretty simple. You can either be an action to draw a card. You can use an action to cast a spell. You can use an action to play a lesson. Or you could use an action. You can use multiple actions to play adventure cards or character cards. So you could actually put more characters in your deck and get them out. So I am going to be playing Quidditch and as we play, we'll go through the rules. I don't think you really need a long tutorial on how to play this game. It's no, it's pretty pretty easy. straightforward. Yeah. Um, but there seems to be a lot of depth with it—a very simple subset of rules. So I yeah. think that's what makes the game really great. Yeah, I agree. Do you want to? I guess we can decide who goes first. Sure. Oh. Guess Try that again. Oh, there you go. There's the captain. Can't roll in me. Okay. And just like in Magic, the first player just does a draw card at the start of their turn, I believe. Correct. And if we're doing anything wrong, please let us know in chat. Yeah, because we haven't played we're a ton newbies. and we're <laughs> still newbies to this game. All right. Okay. And then I think the mulligan rule is you just... I think you just get one hand. free. I think, yeah, you just For get free, one right? free mulligan. Hmm. So I'm going to mulligan. Uh, maybe I won't. Okay. Because this game is a little unique in that you can always draw lots of cards if you needed to. Mm hmm. That is true. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. We'll see yep. what happens. I'm going to stay too, so you're up. Okay. So I'm going to play a lesson. And. I'm just going to show. So for oh. people that don't know, that's a lesson card. Um, lessons are your your resource to play yep. your cards. So for every lesson you have, it's kind of, and it's kind of like a threshold. So. If you have three lessons in play, you can play cards that cost three, that have a three cost, mm -hmm. and um, you can play as you can play as many as you have actions. Yeah. So, and I guess we can explain that really quick. So, the way that the turn structures work, normally when you start your turn, you draw a card. Right. Then you can take any two actions. Right. Actions are playing a lesson card. I went over all that. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just must have been looking at the latency issues. Okay. So I played a lesson. And so that then, was one action, which and now she action, has another action. And I'm going to play another lesson. All right, so, so two, two actions, lessons. two lessons. So next turn, she could spend an action to play a card that would cost, that have a cost of two. Correct. All right, so I'm going to go, starting my turn, I'm going to draw a card. This is not an action. This is just at the start of each player's turn, they draw a card. Then my action is going to be to play a lesson. And this card says... At the end of your, at the end of each of your opponent's turn, if he or she plays, played a non-lesson card, he or she takes the damage. Okay, 
So I don't take damage for lessened. Correct. It's for non-lessened cards. Correct. All right, so that was one action. And Harry Potter the Seeker has, once during each of your turns, when you use an action to play a lessened card, you may also draw a card. So I'm going to draw. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a match. So I'm going to play this match card. So this match costs one. And when I deal 30, when the first person to deal 30 damage wins the match, mm -hmm. and then they deal 15 damage to their opponent. Right. I recognize that one. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to throw my match into play. And I'm done. So that was two actions. One Quidditch and this match. So I'm going to, you can take your turn. This match, you can see here, here's the cost of the card. It costs one. And I have to have at least one Quidditch lesson in play to play it. So I'll start my card and draw, start my turn and draw a card. So my first action is going to be to draw another card. Oh, and I take a damage because I played a... So in, in Harry Potter, the goal of this game is to run... Your deck is your life, essentially. Your your magic, less essence, whatever. And every time you take damage, you have to discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt. So her wizard made me take a damage because I played a non lesson card. card. So I take the top card of my deck, I put it in my discard pile. And I'm just going to draw another card. Okay. And I'm passing. So mm -hmm. I'm going to draw. I'm going to spend my first action to play a lesson. And that's going to trigger Harry. Mm -hmm. So I can draw a card. And then I'm going to spend... I'm going to second action to play Searching for the Snitch. This card allows me to search my deck for any card that has the Quidditch in the cost. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose, I think, just the good old standard Quidditch pitch, if I can find one. I would imagine I have one in here. Quidditch pitch. Okay. So I played this card. It has one use. It's going to my discard pile. And I'm grabbing Quidditch pitch. And then I have to take another damage because I played a card that yep. was and not... It's any non-lesson. It's not a permanent. Yeah. So any, I'm going to mill the top card of my deck. And I've spent my two actions, so I'm done. Okay. Drawing a card for my turn. Okay. We are going to draw a card. My God. All right. And we'll play another lesson. Okay. And we're going to mill for that. And then, are you done? Yes. All right, draw. I'm going to play a lesson. Trigger Harry Potter to draw a card. And we are going to play. Sorry, gonna... guys. I'm not sure. I'm, I keep seeing the red flashing light for low latency. So I, I apologize if the quality is not coming through very well. But um, it kind of is what it is. <laughs> we are definitely going to have to change that. That's never happened to us before. I mean, it might have, and I just haven't noticed it. But it's pretty bad right now. It's just real choppy? I don't know. I can't really tell. But that shouldn't be red. I just saw it go down to 2 kilobytes per second. So that's pretty awful. Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen that before. So I don't know if it's our home internet or if I just need to... Well, it just went to green. Yeah, temporarily. But That's really we'll strange. Okay. So sorry if it's a mediocre quality. Normally it's not like that. But We will post all the... If, uh, if it, the quality is really bad and you can't watch it live, we post everything. We actually record the videos and we yeah, post we them on post YouTube. Them. So you could just watch it on YouTube. Yep. There are some questions in the chat. It's not super hot, but you explain well. Oh, gotcha. Probably Thanks. talking about the stream quality. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm I'm uh, I spent my one action to play Quidditch. Yep. My second action with Quidditch pitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, what this card does is it actually um, reduces the the power needed to play your spells. Okay. So all my Quidditch spells are going to cost two less resources, two less lessons. Sure. All right. Okay. I'm done. So start my turn. Draw a card. I am going to play Errol, an owl. Okay. And he has a, when he comes into play effect, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a lesson, put it into play. If it isn't, put it back on top of your deck. So reveal the top card. Look at that. Nice. And it's even a color. It's the thing I need because it's oh, the color it, I'm missing. He's your uh, f- one of your favorite type of abilities where it just enters Ramp. the battlefield mm-hmm. and gives you a trigger. You had a whole deck like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was one action, was playing that guy. My second action. Hmm. I got to start racing. Those creatures do a lot of damage. I'm going to just play a barn owl. Oh man. When okay. you play this card, you may discard one of your creature lessons from play to put a creature card from your discard pile into your hand, but I don't have one, so I'm not going to trigger that effect. Okay. Okay. So, how much damage do these guys one. do? Each do one? Each do one. Oh, it's not like the. McGonagall deck. No. <laughs> it's taking like five a turn, six yeah, a no. turn. Okay. It is not like that. All right. My turn? Yep. All right. I'm going to draw. Ooh. You know, this is a good question. Um, at the end of your turn, you play a lesson. Takes one damage. Oh, if it counts for that. I'm assuming that this damage would count uh, for that. For the so match. Probably. I'm going to... So... The way we keep track is we should just put the cards underneath. Underneath, yeah. so I'm I'm assuming those damage would count. Uh, if the so if the damage from Percy Weasley does not count for the match, let us know. But I think it does. All right, so I'm gonna draw. And what will I play here? I'm gonna play. Ouch. So it costs, ouch costs five, but I have a Quidditch pitch in play and three lessons, so I'm good, because Quidditch pitch reduces it by two. Oh, okay. So, and this just does five damage, and then you have to discard a card. Deal five damage, and, and you choose. A card. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then I have to deal myself one damage, okay. because of Weasley. Yep. Oh, this is at the end of the turn, though, technically. And I have to discard any card, right? Yeah, any card you want. And just uh, do it again, because I'm playing a second ouch. Okay. And then... And discarding another card. Yep. So I'm putting your oh. the damage under here. Sure. Should be ten. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then end of the turn, I played two cards, so I take two damage, and I'm gonna put them under here as well. Yep. For me and you. Yep. Yep. Okay. I suppose we could just put them next to it, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it's my turn. So I draw a card for the turn. Mm-hmm. And, oh. I think actually my creatures do oh, yeah. first. So, yes. So, uh, the order is you draw a card, then, then creatures, creatures deal okay. damage, I believe. So, I take two. Yep. All right. So, one, two. This is and a close match. And I think adventure cards require both your actions to they play, do. right? Both your actions. All right. Pretty sure. So, I'm going to play Into the Forbidden Forest, which is an adventure. 
and it's a fact whenever one of my creatures does damage to my opponent deal one more damage oh it doubles your damage doubles my damage oh. to solve this your opponent skips a total of five actions. They don't need to be one right after the other. You just have to skip five actions. Holy smokes. And then as your reward for solving this, you get to draw a card. That seems horrible. Yes. I'm going to skip two and a half turns to draw a card. Or, and not take a bunch of damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. That card. That card this seems card, real good. This card seems really good. Yeah. Holy cow. All right. So we can keep a die, one, one of the big casino die. For what? For however many actions you're... Right, I got some tokens here. If I ever decide to skip an action, okay. we'll put one there. All right. Uh, are you done? Yeah. Okay. That's both my actions. All so. right. Draw. Hmm. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to play... Hmm... I'm going to play Search for the Snitch and get a lesson. And then my second action will be to play that lesson. Okay. So you'll just take one damage. So I'm going to draw a card, mm -hmm. and then at the end of my turn, I'm going to take a damage. Yep. And I think that's just my turn. So draw a card for the lesson because of Harry yep. the Seeker. Take a damage. Place it here. Mm -hmm. And you're up. Yeah. Draw a card for my turn. Okay. So you have to take four damage. Yuck. And I guess let's see where we're at here. 11 to me. Uh huh. And I think 10 for you. Okay. So we're very actually even. very, <laughs> this is a very close three months match. <laughs> All right. So I am going to choose to play Picking on Neville. Okay. And I'm going to target your Quidditch pitch. What does that do? So I choose one of your cards in play. Any card? Uh, yes, other than your starting character. Okay. And discard it. Your opponent may prevent this by choosing two of his or her cards in play other than his starting character and discarding them. Ugh. So I'm All targeting right. Quidditch Pitch. Goodbye, Quidditch Pitch. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So that was one action. And my second action is going to be to play a Screech Owl. Okay. And when you play this card, you may put a lesson card from your discard pile into your hand. Which... So technically, it would be there. There would be one. Yeah, in there would here. be one. So we can just swap one yeah, of these cards for the card. purposes of yeah, keeping track of these damage. cards. Aren't like removed from the game. They're Correct. just, it's uh, just, the just keeping way track, to keep track of, of the damage. The damage without having to put dice there. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're good. Yep. And, and you're I'm done. done. Well, that was terrible. Yep. All right. So, what do I want to do? We need to start dealing damage because I'm losing this race. So, I'm going to play another Quidditch pitch. Sure. And that's an action. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play Fouled. Okay. Which will um, deal you four damage, okay. and then next turn you only get one action. Okay. So we'll so put that four here. Put that four here, and, and then I play you two, take two. So I take two. Yep. And they go here. Okay. And you're up. So I draw a card. Mm -hmm. And you take six. Cool. So you can see once you these decks get ramped up, yeah, these games go fast with sixty they card go decks. Very they go very fast, yeah. Oh man. Okay, and I only get one action. So you have nineteen. To fourteen. Okay. 
And I think I'm just going to play picking on Neville again, targeting your Quidditch pitch. Wow. Nasty. Okay. And that's all I can do because I only get one action. Yep. All right. So my turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to play, oh man, loosen that Quidditch pitch twice. Choose one of your opponent's cards and play. Yeah, I would have to discard lessons. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you could discard the match, but. That's probably what I should have done, honestly. You could have discarded the match and a lesson. That's probably what I should have done. You can. I don't care. No, that's okay. We're just playing for funsies. So, five. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nineteen. And then how many creatures? Three. So you're going to take six. So I'm six, so 25. twenty-five. So Oof. two more turns. Yeah. All right, so I'll play a lesson, draw a card. Yep. And then what will I do? Yeah, that's what we were just saying, Diaz, that he could uh, yeah, I t discard to that match. Total noob misplay. So I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna play Zigzag. Okay, what is that? Uh, I can get a, a non-healing Quidditch card from my discard pile in my hand, so I'll take right. my pitch back. Sure. And then I'm done. Okay. Draw a card for my turn. And you take six. I take six. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. And I will play a barn owl. It's a second one. Okay. When you play this card, you may discard one of your creature lessons from play to put a creature card from your discard pile into your hand. Gross. Right. And I'm assuming there is one. Let's see. Yeah, there's a there's headwig. Done. Yeah, they don't even need to look Although at the I rest, right? I can't afford it, but that's fine. We'll take it anyway. Okay. Done. Um, I think I only did one thing so far. So also last turn, I should have taken one more damage from I'm this play guy. Play a lesson. Okay. Okay. Draw. So I am going to. I'm going to play a Quidditch pitch for two. And then I'm going to play Catch the Snitch for seven. Okay. Catch the Snitch will win, win the current the match. match. So I'm going to deal you. Prize winner deals 15 damage to his or her opponent. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ugh, crunch. And then those go into your discard, discard pile. Yeah. And I played a lesson. No, I played Quidditch pitch and yeah, so you that. So I'm going to take two yeah. and you're, you're going. Yep. And so how many creatures now? Four. So I'm taking eight. Yeah. Drawing card. Oh, man. I have three cards three left. Three cards left. All right. This is why you can play this game so much, because these games do, do go really fast. Yeah. All righty. Well, we'll play a lesson, and just for fun, we're going to play Hedwig. Okay. Because I want to play Hedwig. Sure. Hedwig. When you play this card, you may put a non-healing card from your discard pile into your hand. Nice. Nice. I'll grab another picking on Neville. Why not? 
seems fine. All right, you done? Yep. All right, I'm gonna draw a card. And this is gonna be my last turn. So, yep. um, how many cards left in your deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh man, twelve. Yeah, so C Torres, that's the way that you saw us keeping track of damage for matches is usually how we do it. We literally just put the cards underneath. But you can use and dice or whatever. You can use dice. Why um, was he saying that we should use something else? No, he was just asking how people uh, usually do it. But uh, that's how we usually do it. And as you saw, if there's recursion from a discard pile, we just swap out cards. Yeah. Just so I'll be honest number. with you, it's probably best to use like a like a big die at 20 said to die Probably. or something just because you don't have to constantly count the piles right every turn <laughs> correct but we just don't have really big 20 siders that would be good for the stream so yeah i need to order some though we will yeah so i think i'm dead i don't know i can only play two cards and i don't know if there's any way i can deal you enough damage with two cards hmm There, w there would be a two-card combo if I had it. I needed this card. I needed this Catch the Snitch. So. Yeah, I have a bunch of damage. One, two, three, yeah. four. It's Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know. So the best you could have played a match and won it right away. You mean? Yeah. If I yeah, I have a I have a match. Yeah. If I had a catch, I could play it and Win, then hit you for fifteen. It would have been 15. enough. The well, best yeah. I can do is I can hit you with cobbing twice. Which is eight. Which is eight damage. And then you have to discard two cards and play. But it's your choice. I get to choose. Yeah, it doesn't matter because yeah, uh, you have two cards I'm two left, cards, so I can and just... I'm gonna die from Percy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But I think that misplay probably hurt me. Yeah. So I'll go again. Okay. Face the owls again. Well, the owls are uh, owls are nasty. That adventure card is so good. I like. Yeah, it's crazy good. Who's gonna pay? F Time, time walk yourself two and a half times. Yeah, it's crazy. So time walk's actually a magic terminology. It means to like make your opponent skip their turn. Yeah. So you might hear a lot of magic terminology just because it's so ingrained in, in us. us. And yeah. we even say it when we're playing like Star Other Wars games. games. Yeah. It's like, oh, where's the Wrath of God card? Yeah. Or where's the tutor or whatever. Yeah, the tutor. <laughs> oh, the tutor is probably the worst. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get revenge. Yeah, you know, Double Dabian, there isn't a Steel Claw in this deck, so I don't know what... I know I've seen the card, so but I don't claw, remember what it does. Steel Claw was, is in that McGonagall deck, mm -hmm. where it's at four resources, Transfiguration, uh -huh. and then it basically just has all of your creatures in play deal damage to your opponent. Got it. That card was just crushing me in that McGonagall deck. Yeah, well, that's what they were saying. Like, go and grab a Steel Claw from your discard pile for the win. But there wasn't one in my, yeah. wasn't one in my deck. So, when we first started playing this game, there, we were struggling to find resources for decks. And we didn't know anything, really, what was good. Um, we had a ton of cards, so it was, felt a little bit overwhelming. We found the... I found the Revival Group and found, like, the Gen Con decks... And I built the McGonagall deck, and then I built... I think I built my own Quidditch deck from... Yeah. And I I got crushed, like... I don't even know how many games we played. 20, 30 games. It wasn't even close. Yeah. Every turn was just getting crushed yeah. by creatures. And so that's why I know what that Steel Claw card yeah, is. Yeah, that's fair. Because she played it on me. Yeah. Uh, Damien, we've got seven decks built right now. Yeah. So we can... Uh... I want to rematch with this one. And sure. then I'm going to switch decks for sure. And then we'll sure. switch out, yeah. And these are all decks from the Revival Facebook group in the, in the deck catalog that they have on there. All right. And I'll go first, since sure. I lost. And this seems like a fine hand to keep. I... Oh, 
Sorry, guys. How are you doing? I suppose I can try it. Okay. So I'm going to go first. I'm just going to play a lesson. Draw a card with Harry Potter. And then I'm going to play... Mm, I'll play a Slytherin match. Okay. Now this match is uh, do 15 damage to your opponent. The winner may shuffle up to 15 non-healing cards from his or her discard pile into their deck. So we have a uh, request to upgrade to Gen Con lists <laughs> at some point. Yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll eventually we'll we'll get there. We'll We're get, just we'll really learning the game, yeah. and we didn't want to start with like the most competitive decks. Yeah, we honestly might not even play the decks correctly, so we yeah. just look like a fool yep. playing competitive decks and yep. don't even know what we're doing. But we will definitely venture into the competitive decks for sure. This mm -hmm. is our first one, so we went with some more casual decks. Yep. Okay, so that one is the one deal 15 and you get to heal, heal. 15, right? Yeah. Okay. And so I'm going to take a damage. Yep. All right, draw a card. So I am going to play a lesson and draw a card. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw. I will play a lesson. First action, draw a card with Harry. Second action, we're going to play Searching for the Snitch. This allows me to search my deck for a lesson or any Quidditch card, basically. So, I'm going to get my uh, Quidditch bitch. And so that was a lesson and a card, so I'm going to pass the turn and I'll take a damage. Okay. Draw. Yes. That's what I needed. Okay. We will play a lesson. To play Guide to Household Pets. Okay. I'm going to draw. I'll play a lesson. Draw a card with Harry Potter. And I'll play Quidditch Pitch. Mm -hmm. And I'll take a damage. And you're up. Okay. Draw a card. Cool. Alrighty. We will... Play Errol. So when you discard this card, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a lesson, and put it in play. Nope. That just stays on top of my deck. And... I am going to play another lesson. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, draw. Yep. We will play a lesson. Draw a card. We're going to play Fouled. And you will take four damage and only get one action next turn. And then I'll take a damage. Yeah. Take one damage. You got it. Let's play Elops Owl Emporium. This is a location. And it gives all of my owls an additional health. And they deal an additional damage. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a crusade for owls. Mm-hmm. Okay. Done? Yep. All right. Draw. I'll play a lesson. I'll draw a card with Harry Potter. And I'm going to follow you again. Kay. One action. Okay. 
You're up. Draw. Take two from Errol. We just use both my actions to play the into the forbidden. You only get one action sure. fouled. You were. Oh, you fouled me again. I fouled you again. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, so then I'm going to play a, another creature, a tawny owl. When you play this, you may put a non-healing item from your discard pile into your hand. But all of my I haven't discarded any cards yet, so that's fine. Just count how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? All right, I got some dice. All right, so eight for you. I can use dice too. I'm going to grab picking on Neville. I have nine. Actually, I'll grab the big dice. Vaughn, we have not talked a lot about Harry Potter fandom, if you will. We talked about it a very little bit at the beginning of the stream, but only in that I'm really the true Harry Potter fan, and Gold Leader has learned to be a Harry Potter fan Yeah, over I'll, time. I'll be honest with you. I, I think the Harry Potter story, the the story is incredible. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of it. I, I have not actually read all the books. I've listened by to one of the books. Me, I was going to say, by I've all listened, means none. <laughs> no, I've listened to two of the books on tape. Ah, uh, okay. But I've not, I don't actually don't read the books. I don't have time to sit around and read a book. It'd be awesome. I hardly have time to sit around and read a comic book. Yeah, but I am, we've talked about it a little bit in some of our other Harry Potter related casts. We play the USA USAopoly Harry Potter games, the Defense Against the Dark Arts dueling game, as well as the Hogwarts Battle Campaign game. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about it a little bit in there, but uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely my genre of choice. For sure. Okay. Are you done? Yep. All right, so I'm going to draw. And I want to play. Oops. All right, so there's, you've got eight. So then, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play cobbing. This costs five because of my pitch. So cobbing is deal four damage to your opponent, and then they choose a card in play to discard. Yeah, if, then if your opponent has any cards in play, choose one of them to discard. Okay. So... I will discard this. Okay. And then I'm going to be a big meanie and do it again. That is very mean. Alright, so you'll win the match. Uh, Actually, I don't have two cobbings, apparently. Oh, well, convenient. I'm going to ouch you, though. Okay. Ouch is deal five damage to your so opponent and they discard a card from their hand. Okay. And now I will win the match. Yeah, you're doing much better in this game for sure. Okay, but and now I get to heal 15. Nice. Yep. I like that. So let's put how many cards are here? Now I'm assuming when this match is complete, it goes to my discard pile, and then I can heal it. I have no idea In what chat. the sequencing of that so is. So if I if I complete Slytherin match, it says the reward is shuffle fifteen healing card non healing cards in your deck. Can you shuffle the match that was in play and complete it? The stream is like a minute behind us right now. Oh, good minute. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, let us <laughs> Just know. Play it however you want to play it. I would say it would. I would think so. I'll put it off to the side but and see we'll, what they say. We'll figure it out. So we don't need these anymore. Pomata, thanks. We uh, we like our little Zoom cam too. Uh, it's the only downside is that we had to pick a 
magenta green screen, if you will. So anything that's like a red or an orange color gets a little bit washed out. Yeah, so but, that's unfortunately, we haven't figured out a technology that there's a green screen color that we can use that there isn't a color on all these beautiful cards that doesn't come out. Yeah. Um, there might be a way. I, I have to, we have to research it, but yeah. we literally just started streaming during quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a big learning curve for us. But yeah, we, we do have... Um, yeah, I feel like we went from zero to B minus very quickly. Yeah. Uh, if you guys saw our initial stream, it was so terrible. Um. But... Yeah, the Star Wars players can tell you how bad the first stream was, <laughs> but it was it was straight up improvised. Oh yeah, it was from quarantine nope. at, at two o'clock in the afternoon. We decided that we were going to stream a how to play the Star Wars trading card game, and it was hilarious yeah. how terrible the streaming situation was. All right, so it's your so, turn. And yeah. did somebody reply? Uh, they said that you cannot heal healing cards; only non-healing cards. Right. Well, but I, it's what the question was whether or not we could actually use the match. Oh, right. I guess that is a healing card. Oh, good there we catch! Go. All right. There we go. Lesson well done. learned. Yep. Sweet. Good catch. All right. So yeah, that's still in my discard. Uh, I'm done. And I played two cards, so yeah, at least two. Okay, and I get both my turns, right? Or both my actions? Yes, I didn't have any action okay, denial. So drawing a card, then you take two. Uh, four. No, two. Doesn't they this double deal, it? Yeah, they each deal. They each deal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. You're correct. Math. I am wrong. Yes, you are correct. Okay, and then I'm going to play. Into the Forbidden Forest. Again, to make these even angrier. So it'll double the damage again. Okay. Are you done? Yes. All right, I'm going to draw. That's going to double the damage again. Yes. Wow. I might still lose this. Let's see. Um... What can we do here? We're going to play... We're going to play Comet 60. And we'll, this is a broom that I think will prevent me a little bit of damage, but not much. One damage a turn. And then we're going to play a Searching for the Snitch so I can search my deck for any Quidditch card. Oh, I think you're right, Diaz. So, Percy isn't take one for each non-lesson card. It's if you played a non-lesson card, period, you take a damage. Oh, so you only take one. Yeah, it's not oh, one it's not per double. card. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. good. There we catch. go. See? Re RTFC. Read the F card. <laughs> Noobs. <laughs> yeah, hey. That, that, that helps that me is, out. That is a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm done. You guys are right. Okay, so I'm drawing a card. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing two, so six. Yeah. This card says once during each of your opponent's turn. So I'm going to prevent one. I'll take five. Okay. Was that five? I felt like that was six. Five. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to play a lesson. And I'm going to play Badgered Boy. Search my deck for a creature card, show it to my opponent, and shuffle. Okay. And that was your two? That was my two. All right, I'm going to draw. I'm just going to grab a Screech Owl. Okay. I'm going to play... I'm going to play Cobbing to force you to uh, take four damage. Mm -hmm. And then choose one of your cards and play to discard. Mean. I don't feel bad with all those owls just eating at me. You should. It's mean. 
I don't even get to choose. You get to choose. Well, still. All right, so what are you discarding? Uh, that's a great question. So four. I suppose I'll discard... I'll just discard one of my owls. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. I will play... I'm going to play Fouled, deal you four damage, and then you only get one action. And then I'm going to take a damage from Percy, and you're up. Okay, draw a card. Mm -hmm. And... You're taking three? Yep. One, two, because I'll use my Comet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Screech Owl. When you play this lesson, you may put a lesson card from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. So that's your action? Yep. Alright, so it's my turn. Yep. Draw. Okay. I'm going to play three month long match. And catch the snitch to deal you 15. Oof. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, oh my gosh, only three left. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, not going to win this game. Victory. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You did way better in this one than in the, than yeah. in the last one. Hey, this is the first time I think I've ever won with Quidditch, so I'll yeah. take it. Okay, so I'm drawing a card. Mm -hmm. uh, you take four. No. Uh, so six. these each do three, so yep. six, six minus one for the comet. One, two, three, four, five. And let's make you discard your stupid comment. Sad. Okay. And let's make you discard your stupid Quidditch pitch. Okay. <laughs> Done? It's my con reconciliation. I can't draw extra cards at this point, so. All right, I'll draw. Yep. And I will out you twice. All right, fine. You only had to hit me for two. You didn't need to hit me for ten. <laughs> Wanted it to be a big ouch. All right, switch okay. decks. Okay. So I don't know if you want to try this. We've ne we've never. Uh, this is an all charms deck. Sure. Madam Pomfrey. Let's go for it. Why not? So, Madam Pomfrey, once per game, you may shuffle up to 12 non-healing cards from your discard pile into your deck. So, that makes sense for the nurse that you get a one-time big heal. That's cool. And I have a Professor Phileas Fitwick. Flitwick. Once per game, you may trade two cards in your hand for one card in your discard pile that needs charms power. And it provides charms. I'm assuming she's only played so you can play charms. That's probably my... Seems like probably all of these... He, but yes. Oh, it's a he. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. It seems like all the professor cards that give you another color... Yeah, that's that's the reason to play them. So you can splash another color game. And not have to play the lesson. not have to worry about yeah. the lesson issue. So the deck I'm playing here, I have no clue how to play it, but it has something to do with passwords. Cool. All right. So it has something to do with Yeah, I mean, obviously I have no idea passwords. what this is going to do. <laughs> okay. I do wish they made Harry Potter sleeves. I said that earlier. USAopoly, come on. Fail. Such a fail. I know. I know that, like, Wizards never made them because, honestly... Back in that time, this didn't exist. We like didn't have we didn't have like this, we didn't have fancy exist. sleeves. Yeah, sleeves were either clear or they were like one color. Yeah, for the longest time, 
you the only sleeves available were ultra pro and they were clear deck protectors yeah. for i mean i mean you're probably in the early 2000s yeah all right so i'm sure i'm going to bastardize this passwords deck Oh, I'm sure I'm going to bastardize this one. I've, <laughs> I don't even know what a single card is. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to learn as we go. The Owl's deck, though, seemed fun. Yeah, it was kind of like it me. It was like, mid-rangey ramp. It was kind of yeah, your, your thing. kind of felt like me, yeah. Yeah. We found that the combo decks is just not your thing. No. Combo decks are not my thing. But that's okay. I just, I just like going sideways with creatures, so to speak. Yeah. I like attacking with things. All right, you wanna roll a die? Sure. I got a four. That's Ooh. a two. All right, I guess I'll play first. I've got lesson cards. Uh, so do I. I'm assuming that's probably fine, seeing as I have no idea what this deck wants to do. So we're just gonna keep it. Yeah. I got plenty of lessons. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go first. Yep. I get two actions. And I'm going to play a potion. And I'll use my professor to play a licorice wand. Mm. Do two damage to your opponent and then draw a card. Do they have those? At the Harry Potter land, licorice wands. I feel like they did, or they maybe. Had, I thought I felt like they definitely had chocolate wands. I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like they had chocolate wands when we were at the. They did. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know if, if they have a... them at a Harry Potter park. They probably do. All right, drawing a card for my turn. Yeah, in our bedroom, Andrea has a bunch of the chocolate frogs from the Harry Potter theme park where she saved like the containers yeah, and put the them container up on the wall the, and the card. with yeah. the uh, with my wand wizard boxes cards and the wizard cards right yeah yeah and my wand boxes because you know you have to have more than one mm -hmm. yeah our friend JP made her this amazing uh, wand holder that yep. she hung on the wall and she has all her wands on it we'll have to take a picture and post it on the group yeah it's pretty cool I'm done I just play two lessons okay I'm gonna draw a card I will play a lesson and huh. I'm going to give you some, uh, so I'm assuming that this just gives you, provides you with a lesson. So I would have three lessons. Correct. So I'm going to, that's how we've played it. So I'm going to give you some uh, potions homework. Okay. So you just take damage until you discard a lesson. Okay. Only two cards. Go ahead. Okay. So draw a card. I will say the one thing I like about this game versus the uh, USAopoly dueling game is that game feels it's it's super fun, but the luck factor on that game there is versus the luck factor in this game factor. is just yeah. different. Yeah. There's obviously luck in this too, but there's being able to manipulate how many additional cards you're drawing per turn and there's, how you're playing. There's a lot more skill. There's a skill. lot of decisions. There's yeah, a lot of decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am going to use Rose Growth to deal two damage to you. Okay. All right. One, two. All right. I'm done. Draw. I'll play another potion, and I'm going to give you some more homework. Oh, that's so. Mean. Oh, suck it. First card. That's not nice. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, draw a card for the turn. Let's play a lesson and play Toe Biter. Deal two damage to my opponent. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. I'm going to draw again for first action. Second action, draw. I'm done. Draw. Okay. 
So I'm going to play a lesson. And I'm going to play Standard Book of Spells. Okay. Draw. I'll play a lesson. And... I'm just going to play another lesson, actually. Two lessons. I'm done. You got it. Drawing a card. So I'm going to start by playing Howler. This is super cool. Do two damage to your opponent. Then if your opponent has any cards in hand, look at them. Choose one of those cards and put it on the top of his or her deck. That's horrible. Okay. <laughs> <Dex>. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Don't take the fun card. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna you draw have two whatever. of them anyway. I'm going to draw whatever you put. Let's... Let's put this on top of your deck. Okay. But... Second spell. Okay. Blue wig. Uh huh. Deal four damage to your opponent. Draw a card. Oh, so I lose this. You lose that. Okay. Well played. Mm. All right. This is a cool setup card. Done. Yeah, I like that little combo. Felt very you. Okay. Man, this card is... So Orko is saying he's been wanting to look at variants for the Defense Against the Dark Arts tool where you can reverse and defend yourself because a lot of times someone just runs away with the game. That's that's an interesting thought, Orko. Let us know if you actually yeah. come up with some interesting rules for that because we would totally play that. Yeah, I mean, the game is a little <laughs> bit luck-based on, like, if one... We were tr we were trying to think about ways to make it less luck based. Yeah. Because the issue is if somebody like say you're Gryffindor, yeah. and you just get lucky and draw all the Gryffindor cards, yeah. and your opponent doesn't get theirs. Yeah, you just, there's such a huge advantage. It's such a huge advantage. Yeah. Or the other scenario like what happened to us on our stream, where the very first card that Patronus bought was a banishing card, and the second card she bought was a hex card. Yeah. So she was. Banishing her deck to make it amazing, and yeah. then hexing my deck. Yeah, and it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was very it was so lopsided. lopsided. It was, and there it was, took us forever to play the first round of that game. But then two and three were just yeah, just I just got smoked. Yeah, because her deck was like twenty cards, yeah. and my deck was like fifty cards. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, Double Damien was asking if anybody uh, plays on Lackey or. Uh, board game simulator? I'm not so, sure if familiar with board game simulator. It, he's, it's tabletop simulator. Oh, okay. So we play on Lackey because yeah. we use it for the Star Wars trading card game. Correct. And I'd be more than happy to play this on Lackey. Yeah. I, ha I actually have the... I already have it installed on my computer. All the, you have all of the... The plugins. Plugins and yeah. everything? Yeah. yeah. They actually have the auto updater, so you just click the oh, thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Can we please get the IDC to do that? Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna. There's a new expansion coming out for Hogwarts Battle. I didn't know that one. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, he says that that campaign can be pretty swingy, and it absolutely can. Yeah, yeah you can just get your poop pushed right back up your right. butt. I'm gonna play Licorice Wand sometimes. to draw a card and deal you two. Okay. And then. Hmm. And then I think I want to play. I'm going to play Bruise Wart Balm. I can shuffle five non healing cards into my deck. Okay. So, what sounds good? We'll play that. I guess we'll do this.
I guess, yeah, let's just juice my deck with damage. So we'll shuffle those five back into my deck. Okay. And then I'm done. Okay. Draw. Let's play some damage cards. So we'll play Stream of Flames to deal you three damage. Okay. Then I will play Backfire to deal you five. Eight? Oh. So eight in total. Okay. <gasps> what? Vaughn says they're putting out official sleeves for Hogwarts Battle. Oh, about oh time. We were just about complaining about time. That. I was complaining about that on the stream. You have no idea what I, I had hope... to go through to sleeve my game. I oh hope, my God. I hope they're putting out like sleeves with sweet, just generic Harry Potter backgrounds and not just like the Hogwarts Battle logo. Because it'd be yeah, it'd be sweet to sleeve all of these. Yeah, cards in for Harry sure. Potter well, sleeves. obviously, in that the Hogwarts battle has those stupid, awkward size cards that don't fit standard sleeves. And I, oh my gosh, yeah. the process I had to go through to sleeve my whole game—you have no idea. <laughs> your uh, dedication, Labor of love. <laughs> your dedication was impressive. So you played two cards. I did. Okay, so I'm gonna draw. You hit yourself for eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, huh. I'll play uh, Magical Drafts and Potions. And then I will play Stream of Flames. Okay. Deal three. three damage. And I'm done. Okay. Draw on a card. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do this combo again. So, play in the Howler. So, okay. I deal you two. Okay. And then I look at your hand. And I'll put that on top of your deck. Okay. And then I will deal you two more with a licorice wand okay. and draw a card. Okay. It's a cool little combo. You done? All right. So I'm going to play this card. And you have to guess... Um, Waddlebird. Take six. Aww. Sherbert you Lemon. You just drew that. Yeah. Sucker. Fine. All right, I'm going to sacrifice this card to draw three cards. And I'm done. I mean, my odds were good that you just, you were just playing your stupid one. I know, you got suckered. It's okay. Yeah. Draw. Okay, I'm going to blue wig you. So four damage and I draw a card. And then backfire, deal six damage to you. Ouch. Did you take your six that I dealt you, by the way? Yeah. All right. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not cheating. Done? Yeah. Draw. All right, I'll play this card. Waddle Bird, Sherbet Lemon, or Pure Blood? Pure Blood. Waddle Bird, take six. Waddlebird, Sherbert Lemon, or Pure Blood. I like this deck, by the way. <laughs> Pure Blood. Sherbert Lemon, take six. <laughs> this is the best deck ever. Why did I play this deck before? <laughs> this deck is silly. Just get to play mind games with your opponent. <laughs> Go ahead. That's silly. All right. I'm going to use Backfire to deal five damage to you. All right. And I don't think this is a, an action. It just says once per game you can shuffle cards. You can heal 12. What? Once per game, shuffle up to 12 non-healing cards. I mean, just, yeah? I think it's just... And mine is once per game you may trade two cards in your hand for one card in your discard pile. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, it gives you the charm yeah. resource. That's what that thing does. So I will use Toe Biter to deal you two damage. Okay. Did you... Oh, okay. And then I'm going to heal. Yeah, sure. So I'm going to pick cards. All right, I'm going to draw. I'm going to use my once per game, discard two cards in my hand to take one card from my uh, discard pile. Okay. 
and I'm taking pure blood. And I will I will play a card and you have to guess pure blood, sherbet, lemon, or wattle bird. This is the poker part that I just love. Pure blood. You got it. Oh, finally. Alright. Sorry, I'm just picking which damage cards I want. I don't think it matters. Do it kind of does, because some of them I have four are... Cards. I have four cards on my left in my deck. So oh. you got to deal me All four right. damage. Well, so fine. shuffle your cards in. I don't think it really matters. Maybe, if you can't deal me four damage. Sorry, guys. When you give uh, Patronus decisions, it could be 20 minutes. Oh, be quiet. You're <laughs> the worst at making decisions. <laughs> I had to pick 12 cards. It's a lot. Okay. <clears throat> this deck's fun. It's silly. <laughs> it's hilarious. Let's discard this to draw three. Mm -hmm. And... Can't kill you this turn. Sad. So I'll play Stream of Flames to deal you three. Oh, all right. Okay. Draw. Yep. Waddle Birds, Sherbet Lemon, or Pure Blood? <laughs> Sherbet Lemon. Damn it. Yes! <laughs> Wild birds, sherbet lemon, or pure blood. <laughs> oh, that's no fun. Got it. I'm going to count my odds here. <laughs> well, there's one card left in the deck. Right. It's going to automatically tell you. That's kind of my point. <laughs> well, you have cards in your hand. I guess. I'm allowed to know this, so it's not Sherbert Lemon. <laughs> it's not you know, Waddle Bird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm allowed to know this information. It's no fun. <laughs> Rigging the match. I'm done. All right, I can kill you. All right. Good game. Yeah. That's a silly deck. It's hilarious, though. <laughs> that is funny. All right. You want to do some different ones? Yeah. We have... We have more decks. Um, I don't know what this deck is. Oh, this is the one you did not like. I'll play that one instead of you. Arthur Weasley? We haven't played that one yet. No, we played. This was a this was an older Arthur Weasley deck. I meant on stream. Oh, sure. Well, you can play that one. Put your okay. Guy. All right. So I'm gonna play Arthur Weasley. Once per turn, you may use an action to choose one of your items in play and do damage to your opponent equal to its printed power cost. I remember this one. You know what? I just want to play that same deck again. It was too much fun. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Double Damien, it is not rude for me to go and look in his discard pile and figure out what my arts are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Damien. It was absolutely rude. I totally agree. You ruined the spirit and fun of my passwords deck. But I wanted to try and actually get it right. <laughs> 
<laughs> you probably would have guessed wrong. I would have. I wasn't going to guess Waddlebird. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> I think I could have won that one. Although your deck's pretty nasty. I do like with only five sets. I mean, the card pool for this game is incredibly small. There's still mm -hmm. quite a few different decks. Yeah, there's a lot of strategy. And I, I mean, I obviously I don't know how balanced it is. We've already kind of seen that creatures just seem to be a little... Yeah. OP, um, at least in our opinion. Yeah, cre the creatures definitely seem strong because there doesn't seem to be a lot of interaction with the creatures unless you're playing charms. I did notice potions had some cards to interact with tr yeah. creatures. But we also don't know the whole card pool, so... Right, All right, I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. This deck was very one, much two, my jam. Three, four, five, seven. Just play mind games with me. Yep. It seems mean. There's an element to bluffing, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Um, this hand is okay. I'll keep it. Eleven. Seems good. <laughs> Higher than snake eyes, that's for right. sure. Okay. I'm gonna play a potions, uh, and I'm gonna play a magical draft. Oh, and potions. it looks like. Did we? What? Just want to make sure that we're still. Looks like it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It uh, was. It was actually just frozen on my other machine. All right. But we were green, so it looks good. All righty. So yeah, you got it. Playing that. Mm-hmm. Draw. Let's do... Lesson. Lesson. Okay. Go. Draw for turn. Okay. We're going to play Licorice Wand to deal you two damage and draw a card. And then we'll take an action to draw a card. And you're up. The one thing I'm going to be curious to see is how many cards can the revival group put out with um, with the limitation to art, because every um, player group I've been a part of, they don't have to commission their own art. They can just you know use movie stills or move, whatever. Use, yeah, exactly. So I'll be interested to see um, how long they can go, because that seems like just such an insanely enormous task to find people to donate enough art to make, I mean, what, a 90-card set, I would yeah, think? Probably. I mean, I don't know. You done? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to draw. And, hmm. I think I'm actually, is there a hand size limit in this game? There is not. No, right? I'm just going to draw again. Done. Draw. Let's play a potion. Okay. So right now I have five. Hey, ouch. So I'm going to play Beetle Eyes. This so gives you item. two? Yeah. Nice. I had to pull one back on the last turn to play it. Uh, when you play this card, deal four damage to your opponent. You may use an action and discard this from play to search your deck. You may take a Bulge Eye Potion from your deck and put it into play, then shuffle your deck. So that's that guy. And... I used both my actions already. So we're done. Draw. <clears throat> a licorice wand you for two. Draw a card. And then I'll play a potion. Okay. I'm done. Man, you are just struggling over there. Yeah, resources. How are you? Oh, because of the charm. Yeah. Because right. of this. Yeah. I have four, actually, now. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be 
slightly mean. We're going to use Bundium Ooze. So you discard an item and take damage equal to its power. All right. Okay. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Draw. And... Yeah, Von was saying he thinks that the the group was trying to commission art so that they wouldn't have legal issues oh, with which is 100 percent a thing but honestly if you're just doing fan-based stuff and you're not making yeah any there, money there's off of a it, there's a lot of um there's a lot of fan groups out there they they use um existing art as long as you're not selling it and it's open source yeah it's usually fine warner brothers isn't coming after you yeah as star wars has been doing it for 25 years, years. yeah um okay I felt like they were doing it, and I don't think it's wrong that they were doing the art commission because they didn't want the new cards to, to be movie style versus to, right. Yeah, which they might both be considerations. It, in but. some sense, I feel like this. If this game wasn't made when it was made, if it wasn't made when only books were out and they had to use art, if this game came out when the movies came out and they used and they stills, used stills yeah. I feel like. The game just would have reached a bigger audience. Yeah, I mean, they would have had to use art for some of it because a lot of this stuff doesn't exist in the movies. But you could have done a combination. Yeah, for sure. I do. I will say, I I prefer the comic booky looking art. For sure. Well, the, it, over it the more, movie still, it just looks it more so resembles cool. the artwork from the covers, and it more yes, closely resembles the covers of the books. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, a lot of times there's like little sketches at the beginning of a chapter. You wouldn't know this because you've never read one of the books, but um, so it kind of mirrors that a little bit too. They're just black and white sketches, but the the feel of it is very similar. Mm-hmm. All right, draw a card. So let's use my cool beetle eyes trick. So I'm going to take an action, discard. Oh, no, I need eagle eyes, You need too. both. I need both. Okay, then never yeah. mind. It's a, We're not going to do my level it's, trick. You need, like, a combo. Got it. Never mind. I mean, this game is dangerous. You could play this for a very long time. Yeah, because it's so fast. It's, yeah. it's uh, deceptive. So I've heard people, and I don't know if, how common it is, but I've actually heard people on Facebook talking about like for like a house rule they play at home they actually build hundred card decks to make the games long last long uh, sure i've never tried it i don't know how common it is yeah all right let's just do some potions homework so you have to uh discard cards until you hit a lesson which that should be crazy because i have not almost any lessons but apparently they're all well, clumped I together I, maybe i did you a little bit of a favor there yeah all right, and then let's play Cauldron Shop Location. So I can, either player can use an action to search his or her deck and take an item from their deck that needs potion power, show it to mm. their opponent, put it in their hand. Cool, okay. So my turn? Yes. All right, so I'm going to draw for turn. Oh, no. He will deal you four da- five damage. Oh. I forgot about that. Okay. I was waiting to try and put out my big thing, but I didn't put out my big thing, so. We still put out something that did me five. I thought it was already in play, yes. All right. Um, Can I do anything about those? Those are all item cards. They are all item cards. Well, this this is location. I know there are rules for replacing locations, but I don't know what they are. You can replace your opponent's location? I think so. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I only have three lessons, but I did finally draw a fourth one, so I'll do that. Okay. And then, hmm, I wonder how many of this card's in my deck. I'm going to use an action to, uh, to search my deck. Yep. For an item. Item with potion power. All right, I'm hoping. Yeah, you probably have another uh, got one. or whatever. Yep. You got it. Goes in your hand. Yeah, and then I'm out of actions. Yep. So you're up. Draw. I'm about so, to get wrecked. Yeah. So we will take an action to search for that. Yep. 
and we'll play it. Two actions. Okay. My turn? Yes. Um, hmm. I have four. Yeah, so I think uh, they were just saying in chat that there can only be one location in play at a time. So if you play your own location... Oh, it can be only one total per per. So if I play it's one, it's like it goes for in yours. TCG, yeah. Like okay. There's if, so if you play your Works own location, like you replace mine. Okay. All right. Well, um, all I can do is play this card. Yep. And I don't want to discard it, but I think I kind of just have to. to get, just to draw. Just to draw three cards. I don't know where all my lessons are. Yeah. Bad shuffling. And so I played it, and it cost. Did it cost an action to use it? Yes. Yeah. So I'm I'm just done. Do my fun, cool trick. Um, so the Eli's... Oh, I actually forgot to even trigger this. Uh, look at your opponent's hand. Oh, I just look at your hand. I don't even really care. All right, that's fine. So the Eli's plus the uh, Beetle Eyes allows me to go and search my deck for that big guy. This one cost 8 or 10. 10. And shuffle my deck. So I have to discard both of these. And this gets cheated into play for 10. Alright. Um, is this one action to do this, or I, is it two actions? I think it's one, but you can reread the cards and make sure. Uh, it says... When you play this card, do action... You may use an action. Discard this card. And you aisles from your deck. Yeah, so you just, it's one action. It's one action. action to discard both. Yeah, so you can use the other action to hit me for 10. Is that how it works? Correct. And then I All use right. Arthur to hit you for 10. Ouch. All right. Well, I guess we know why um, I didn't draw any lessons. Look at that, Andrea. Wow. There's seven Six, lessons. Seven, right seven lessons out of 10 cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll draw. Uh huh. And I think I'm just dead because I can't. I don't have any. It looks like there's zero ways in this to deal with items. Act to deal with items. Um, the only thing I can do is heal. But the amount I can heal for, you can just deal me. So, huh, I'll just have fun in that case. Oh, no, I won't Can even have, have fun. fun? <laughs> nope, I have four re <laughs> Okay. Go. So I can action to ten. hit you for ten. Yep. And then I can... I have one card left. I can use an action and discard this to deal you 13. All right. <laughs> Crunch. Deal 23. Yowzers. Yeah, I agree, Vaughn. It is cool that like you mix those uh, different types of potion cards together in order to make the bigger potion. I think it's cool. Yeah, no, that's a super. That's a super. No, that's the kind of combo deck I don't mind playing. Agree. Because it's not like, um, it's not like I put those two cards together, I win game. Right. You still have to. You have to go through a process, and if your opponent has a way of making you discard your items, you're screwed. Well, right. What if you just discard, get the item, and then. Um, and then they just discard it the next turn. Then you have to start all over. Right, exactly. And you, and it's not like, it's not like assemble combo win game. It's assemble combo, hit your and now your engine's live and now you're hitting your opponent each right. turn. Well, what do you want to keep playing or other decks you want to try? I think we've tried almost all of them except for the only ones we haven't played. We haven't is done that Snape one right there. That is that's the the combo deck that you didn't really like. We could, I can play it. Okay. The venomous tentacular juice I combo. I vaguely remember that. I can play it. Um. And then I think we played them all, right? Yeah, we've played all the ones. Uh, technically, this is this is that wizard chess one. It was all red. We had this before. Oh. We didn't play it on the stream. You can play that one. Yeah, I'll play this one, and you can play the other. One. And all then right. uh, once we get through this like you're done 
So this is my my wizard is Justin Finch Fletchley. You may use an action to draw two cards and then put two cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Snape. And then Ron's playing Professor Sever Snape. Once per game, you may shuffle up to seven non-healing cards from your deck from your discard pile into your deck. And he also generates a green resource. It's a little hard to see because he's yeah. all foily. Yeah, the po but. potions. I need to. I, so it's crazy, and stream's probably gonna kill me for this, but. I'm not a fan of foils, <laughs> um, especially these foils that are very hard to read. Yeah, I would love to trade all of my foil cards for just more regular version cards, but I found out there are some cards from the base set that they only appear in foil. Oh, interesting. So you have so some of them. Some of them you're just kind of stuck with. Yeah. I know it's sacrilege. Everyone loves foils. But yeah, it like makes it sense though. It's, it's hard for you to read. I understand yeah. that. It's the same reason why I like white border magic cards. <laughs> hey, trust me. So is TCG. I want every foil I can get. Yeah, but I know. they're much easier to read. Yeah, because it's just the uh, card art that's foil, not the. It's card. really only these characters that are hard to read. All right, roll a die. Yes, my am. Six. Six. Okay. That's why we rolled two. Five. Six. All right, you win. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Uh, I've got spells, so we'll keep it. We will... Okay. We will just play two lessons. Okay. Draw. I will play two lessons. Draw. Let's play Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration and another lesson. Okay. I'm going to play a lesson and I want to play a wand shop. Sure. And that's it. What does this card do? I was going to ask. <laughs> um, all lessons, yours and your opponent, provide two charms instead of one. So you get double ramp and I don't. If you had charms, you would. Well, sure. So, uh, hence I say, you get double ramp and I don't. It's um, a location. Play your own. I don't have a location. But I do have a picking on Neville. So I have to discard a card. You have to discard this or discard two other cards in play. Oh, okay. Goodbye. That seems too good. Alright, you done? No. I hate Neville's always picking on me. Then, no, they're picking on Neville. <laughs> <laughs> Neville gets picked on. Alright, and then I'm going to do an action to draw two cards and then put two cards from my hand on the bottom of my deck. Oh, well, that's cool. So I'm going to put right, so I drew these on the bottom. I'm going to play a charm, and then I'm going to play, I'll play a nut. Sure. I do like that they have the all the different money in this game. Mm. You're done, right? Yep. Sure. So apparently uh, one of the people said on our YouTube channel, when we play the Battle of Hogwarts, uh -huh. the money is technically not money, it's experience. But I think calling it galleons is way better. Oh, experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I poo-poo on your experience keyword. Yeah. Okay, let's... What does this even do? A nut. Uh, you can play only one money card each turn. Before your turn, if this card's in play, discard it and you get one additional action. Okay, cool. I'm going to play a lesson. And then I'm going to play a switching spell. So choose an item and play yours or your opponent's and discard it. Then search your deck. You may take an item card from your deck, show it to your opponent, and put it in your hand. That's annoying. So I get rid of yours and get one for myself. Okay. I 
have no idea what I have, so we'll let you take your turn. Okay. Because um, I played a lesson. So sure. Gonna... Alright, I'm going to draw a card for turn. I will... I'm going to play a wand shop for one action. So now I have... Now this says all of your lessons your opponent's provide. Oh, man. So now I have, like, a User ton. Words. All charms lessons provide double... Yeah, okay. Said yeah. the same thing, yeah. yeah. I'm going to draw a card. I'm done. Seem to be the only items I've got. Alright. I guess I could just grab that. Okay. So I went and grabbed another beginner's guide to uh, transfiguration for right now. Not happy with this one shop. Okay. Put that down. That's in my hand. Draw a card for my turn. Okay. I'm going to draw. So it's my turn. Oh, okay. Lesson picking on Neville, your one shop. Okay. Wait, wait. This is not an item. It's, a, it's any card. That card's annoying. An I would have to discard two cards in play. Correct. All right. Draw. Um. I'm just gonna draw it again and again. Go ahead. Right. Draw. Let's discard this for three. Mm-hmm. Let's play another lesson. Okay. I'm just going to play two lessons and pass. Okay. Draw. Let's play my beginner's guide to transfiguration. Mm -hmm. And let's play Lost Notes. Uh, just discard one of your lessons. Okay. Um, I'll play a lesson and I will play a nut. Okay. I'm done. Draw. What are these two? I get an extra action. Ah, okay. Turn it for extra action. Alrighty. Let's play Quats. So, choose one of your opponent's cards and play. Your opponent may, uh, and discard it. Your opponent may prevent <sighs> this by discarding, by choosing four cards in their hand and discarding them. Oh, in my hand? Yeah. So you can discard four cards from your hand to keep that. I might do that. That's fine. So all this stuff is worthless. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. Apparently I can't play anything against this deck. Sorry. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that was one action, that was one and, action. And you played a lesson? And I did not play a lesson. I already had six. Okay. So I will, I will play a lesson. Alright. Okay. Uh, we'll play this, and we'll play a sickle. Bear up. Okay. Okay. 
Let's discard this to draw three. Okay. Okay. Let's... use Evanescence to make you discard one of your lessons. Okay. Done? Yep. Draw. Oh, what does this do? Hmm. Interesting. We are going to discard the sickle to get two more actions. So we have four. And we are going to play pep talk. And I'm going to use my other two actions to draw two cards. Uh, did that give you two actions? Cause the sickle gives me two. Okay. I was say because I think adventures are two. So pep talk. The first action your opponent uses on each turn... Uh, must be to draw a card. Okay. Yeah. So I have to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And first action is to draw a card. So. Let's play Wizard's Chess. Okay. What does that do? It's an item. You may use an action and discard one of your lessons from play to deal two damage to your opponent. Okay. You done? Yes. Draw. Okay. And I'm going to play a lesson and I'm going to play a nut. Okay. And I'll be done. Draw. Draw. And let's use Picking on Neville for this card. Okay. Yeah, I guess. You'd have to discard your nut and a charm. So. Alright. Okay. How about it? Alright, and then it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to ditch this nut. Get an extra I'm gonna, Yep, I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to draw two more cards. Uh... So I, I drew one for turn. I have an action. I'm going to spend an action to play Gringalt's Vault. Search my deck for a card. Search your deck. You may take any card from your deck put it into your hand. Okay. So that was one action. Two actions left. Okay. Two actions left. We're just going to draw for one. Draw again. Okay. I'm done. Draw a card. So. We will. Play a lesson. And we will discard it to deal you two damage. Okay. Done? Yep. Draw. And... Draw. Mm, let's play a sickle. Sure. Done. Draw. Let's, uh... Play a lesson... And get a Rememberall in play. Oh man, what does that do? Rememberall, during your turn, you may use an action to put a lesson card from your discard pile into play. Oh, so you can so just you can pitch discard and, and you just hit me for two every turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, draw. Search your deck, take one location or adventure card. Okay, interesting. Um... Yes. I'll just play two lessons. Let's say go. Okay. Uh, 
Let's use some lost notes, make you discard an item. Okay. Man, there's a lot of discard items in that deck. There's a lot. Okay. And then I will discard a lesson to deal you two damage. Okay. Done? Yes. Draw. Um, draw. Draw again. Done. Man, you were just trying to get to a combo of some kind. Well, the, uh, I can't get anything set up because every time I put a card in play, it's so easy for you to just destroy yeah. it. So I have to, like, almost craft my hand before I can do anything. Yeah. So I will just discard to deal you two. Okay. Discard to deal you two. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Draw? Yep. Uh, play a sickle. Be done. Okay. Draw. So we will discard to deal you two. Okay. And just go get it back. Okay. Done? Yep. Draw. Oh, no. Sickle. I have to do it before my turn. Uh, before your turn. So we're using the sickle. Okay. And we're drawing. So I get two extra actions. Okay. So I have ten resources. So I'm going to play Dobby's Help to make you draw ten cards. Okay. That's my first action. My second action is to play Dobby's Help to make you draw ten cards. And then my third action is to play Venomous Tentacular Juice, and you draw twice as many cards that are in your hand. So I lose. Okay. So you lose. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was a hard way to get there. Yeah, I was like... Did you have another destroy item card? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you just destroy my, my coins every yeah. turn... I was just, like, I just felt like you weren't doing anything, so I didn't want to yeah. just shut you down completely, because that's not very much fun. Yeah, so if you just destroy my items every turn, the, the, the location doesn't even matter. If you destroy my items every turn, I only have two actions. Yeah. So, the only way I could do that is over multiple turns, so I'd have to play Dobby's one turn, and then I'd have to get to nine or ten resources. Yeah. So, I guess destroying my locations are it fine. Make, yeah, just because it means you have to actually get to nine and or ten. And that deck seems like it damages you incredibly slow with it, Burn yes. Ball, so it gives the combo deck time. Yeah. But... If you just kept destroying my nuts and sickles, especially the sickle, because it gives me two actions, then I just... Yeah, I had... Them. There There was at least three different cards that allowed me to target cards and discard them. Yeah. At least three different yeah. kinds. Then, so that means there's at least 12. Right, yeah. So Most it, likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... All right. <sighs> I think that's good for tonight. Yeah, I think so too. Well, we got through a lot of different decks. Hopefully you guys liked to see some of that stuff. Obviously, as we said, we are we still consider ourselves beginners to this game. Right. We are very unfamiliar with the card pool. We're very unfamiliar with the strategies. Um, so we're, we'll escalate as we go, but we're happy to put decks together that you guys are interested in seeing us play. Yeah, if you, um, if you want to send us deck lists, if we can put it together with cards we own, we will. Otherwise, we can always make some proxies um, as long as we can get the card images. That's not a problem either we have all the images it's fine yeah and if this is your first time we're actually trying to get to 100 subscribers so that we can have like a much more friendly youtube link yeah so if you don't, wouldn't mind going to home base games on youtube and just liking and subscribing to our channel we do post all these games that we record on our youtube channel mm -hmm. and we sort them by category so yeah. there'll be all there our own like playlist for all these harry potter streams yep and also if you wouldn't mind following us on twitch yeah 
all great things. We will be doing this kind of stuff pretty regularly. I think Monday nights are just going to be our Harry Potter nights. So we'll rotate different types of Harry Potter games between this game as well as the USAopoly games. So feel free to, to chime in and join us for any of that stuff. Yep. We'll answer questions. One, we'll, we'll be interactive, just kind of like how we were tonight. Yeah, one more thing, too, on um, on our site, homebasegames.com. We actually have, like... Um, strategy articles that we've been putting out for yeah. Harry Potter. If anybody from the Revival community wants to send us an article, I'd be more than happy to post it on our website. Yeah, and, and it can be it. a regular thing if you guys want to yeah. be contributors. We're as long totally as, fine with that. Yeah, yeah, it could be you could do something regular as a contributor or if it just wants to be a one-off, yeah. um, you want to share decks, anything, we'll post it to our site yep. uh, for people to see. So for um, Gold Leader and Patronus, uh, we're signing out. Thanks, guys.